Back-to-back -back wins for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and what a game it was tonight as the Buds head to Edmonton to take on the Oilers and blank them. 4 nothing winners in Edmonton. Leafs have won back-to-back -back games now after that crazy one against the uh, Calgary Flames. Nylander tying it up. Nylander overtime winner. And the Leafs go out there today, and they play a straight-up dominant game. No Austin Matthews in the game today. Still no Frederick Anderson, but Jack Campbell makes his return to the Leaf lineup. And he has been nothing but spectacular for this team since coming over from the Los Angeles Kings. And he was spectacular yet again. Obviously, you know they won 4-0, so you do the math. Jack Campbell with a big-time 30-save shutout over the Edmonton Oilers. Were they all high-grade difficulty shots? And no, I wouldn't say so. But he made the sound saves. He made all the saves look easy. He did a great job tonight to Jack Campbell. And the Leafs offense, they got it done. First period, they get a power play. And that, as we've talked about in the last few videos, the Leafs power play has been a little shaky over the last little bit. No Austin Matthews out there. You got to find a way to get something going here. And Mitch Marner gets the puck in the slot. And I'm like, shoot it, Mitch! He goes around the back of the net. And I'm like, God dang it. Then he centers it to Willie Nylander. And with a crowd of people in front, um, I think uh, Mike Smith loses his stick. He butts it into uh, uh, Josh Archibald and loses his stick. And where does, uh, where does uh, Willie fire it? Right under the blocker or glove, whatever side he shot it on. But he beats Mike Smith to put the Leafs up 1-0, 14-37 in on the power play. John Tavares and Mitch Marner grab assists on the play, and the Buds are in front, 1-0. Exactly where you want to be. Let's keep going. Not even a minute after that, Mitch Marner gets the puck coming down, the, down through the slot. And I'm like, what are they doing? Yes, he's a passer, but we have all learned this guy can shoot the puck very, very well. And Mitch Marner beats Mike Smith five-hole. Got to close those legs, big fella. And that was just over a minute after Nylander scored. So Marner gives the Leafs the 2-0 lead. Marner's already got a two-point night. John Tavares has a second assist of the night. And Jumbo Joe Thornton has his first point of the game. Good to see him back out there. And the Leafs got a 2-0 lead. They go into the intermission up 2-0. Great start to this game if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs. After the last game, you ride the momentum really in the last game, right? The Leafs have scored four straight goals. They haven't allowed any after that. Let's go to the second period. Midway through, Jason Spezza coming down on a two-on-one. He fakes the slap shot, and if you watch the replay, he kind of he, he angles his stick like he's going to pass around the defender. That's exactly what Mike Smith thinks he's going to do is pass it across to his guy on the other side. But, 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 but Jason Spezza, being the damn veteran he is, he fakes that. Mike Smith's already sliding over to the middle of the ice. What does that leave? The whole short side for Jason Spezza. And he roofs it on Mike Smith. VC and Brody grab assists on the play 11-15 into the second period. What a goal by Jason Spezza. This guy's 38. I don't see so. Or 37. Either way. Fantastic job by Jason Spezza. And the Leafs now have a 3-0 lead midway through the period. They are playing so sound. They are not giving up any high-quality chances. They are looking really, really good so far. And they play the rest of the second period. They play a pretty solid end of the second period. You go into the break up 3-0. Exactly where you want to be heading into the third period. But you cannot let your foot off the gas pedal because Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl are on the other side. You cannot let your foot off the gas pedal with those guys over there. In the third period... 13 minutes in, Zach Hyman doing Zach Hyman things. Getting into the corner, I, I forgot who it was that he hit. It was a quality defenseman. I think it was, I think it was Adam Larson, to be honest with you. And he knocks the puck, he knocks him off the puck, not the puck off the spot, the player. He knocks Adam Larson or whoever it was, maybe Chris Russell, I don't know who it was, off the puck, gets the loose puck, a nice little inside outside deke, and then goes top cheese on Mike Smith. And I'm like, whoa! Who the heck was that? Zach Hyman. What a hell of a job that was on that play. That is Zach Hyman in a nutshell. Other than shooting top cheese. That is not Zach Hyman-esque. 
but damn it, that looked good. Jake Muzzin and Pierre Engvall grab assists on the play, and the Leafs are now up 4 0. Now, at that point in time, right, 13 minutes into the game, you got a 4 0 lead, you play for Jack Campbell at this point. And the Leafs do just that. They don't really give up any high-grade difficulty opportunities in the third period. They play, like I said earlier, a very sound third period. And they close out the game. Jack Campbell with the shutout. Big-time game for Jack Campbell. A big-time game for the Leafs offense. And a very, very, very sound hockey game for the Toronto Maple Leafs defense. Ladies and gentlemen, the Leafs have allowed uh, a total of one goal in the back of the net over the last two games. And that is with Jack Campbell and Michael Hutchison in the net. Take that in. Not only are those two goalies playing well for this team, but the decor has been playing so well. Great to see Jake Muzzin out there, even though he's got some crazy cage going on. Great to see him back out there. Zach Bogosian's playing great. As I mentioned earlier, TJ Brody is Mr. Smooth out there because you don't worry about the guy at all. Morgan Riley, I thought, played a lot better tonight. He was really nice. Again, I can go down the list. Just a sound game all around for the Leafs. Like I mentioned earlier, shots on goal were 30-29 to 29 in favor of Edmonton. Uh, but as we all know, shots on goal are a completely meaningless stat. It's just literally, you know, you can shoot from center ice right on the goalie's chest. That is a shot on net. Right? Uh, you know, a little deflection up high that rolls to the goalie. That's a shot on net. Right? But a goalie making a sprawling save, diving save. It's one save. Right? So 30-29, yeah, it looks, you know, oh, Edmonton, you know, was playing the better game. They had another shot on net. You lost 4 nothing. That's what matters. Mike Smith, was he's been outstanding all year for the uh, for the Edmonton Oilers. They've won five straight games. He's 6-0. and oh. Like, he, they've been playing great, but then bang, lays an egg. And I will say it again. I know, that, I know I got some, I wouldn't say hate, but I got some people, some feedback last time I talked about this. The Edmonton Oilers are not a great hockey team. I will continue to say so until they prove me wrong. And I don't mean, when I say prove me, I don't mean go out there and beat the Leafs one time or win 4 nothing against the Leafs in one game. I'm talking about show something other than Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. In any aspect, goaltending, defense, and depth offense, show me something. Because ladies and gentlemen, the Leafs just dominated the Edmonton Oilers today without their best player, Austin Matthews. You think that would have happened if Connor McDavid didn't play? Uh, no. They still don't have a goaltender. I don't care what Mike Smith has done over the last seven games. They are not a good hockey club. They rely on two guys. Two guys to take them the entire way. You're never going to win that way. Now, will the Leafs win the way they're playing? Well, if, I mean, I, I can't say so. I, I'm, I'm just here to cheer, cheer my team on. But I'm saying the Edmonton Oilers are not a very good hockey team. Period. Two guys are good on that team. You can say, oh, this guy's okay. The Nuge is okay. Yeah, he's all right. But again, three guys. You need 12 forwards and 6D and two, well, one goalie. You don't have much of that. That's all I'm going to say about the Edmonton Oilers. Leafs were one for one on the power play. They got that one opportunity earlier in the game. Capitalized on it. Did not take a penalty in the game today, so that's always great news. And uh, Mitch Martin with a two-point night, one goal and one assist. If I'm not mistaken, with that point, with those two points he had tonight, he is now a point per game for his career. I could be totally wrong about that, but uh, Mitch Marner doing insane things this year. He's having such a great year. The next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I could be eating my words in this next game, but 10 o'clock puck drop in Edmonton again on Monday night. All right, so you know Edmonton's going to want to come back firing out there uh, at 10 o'clock, you know, looking for revenge after this game today. But the Leafs got to go out there and do a job. We don't know what Austin Matthews' status is for that game. We're not too sure. We hear, we hear it's not so serious, so that's great news. But the way Jack Campbell is playing, guys, are you really worried? The guy's fantastic. I have all the faith in the world in Jack Campbell. I think he's playing unbelievable hockey. All right? So, like I said, the next game is on Monday. The Leafs look for win number three in a row. Look for win number 17 on the season. And look to continue to play well moving forward, guys. People can yap us about the division and say this and that. No matter what, you got to go out there and play your games. And this team has won 16 games this year already. They're playing very well. I don't care what anybody says. And I'm proud of these guys. All right, so you know what that is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the game this evening, because, damn it, if you're a Leaf fan, you didn't enjoy this game, you clearly just didn't watch it. 
Smack the like button. I do appreciate that. You guys hit that subscribe hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below if that's in the video, if that's in the game, would you like, would you not like from today's hockey game. Uh, Instagram link. No, no, sorry. Twitter is down below, so follow up there. Guys, send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. Also, the Instagram link is down in the description, so follow up there if you've, if you've not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, Jay's edition, either Tuesday or Wednesday. More or less Tuesday. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, guys. Uh, we'll be talking about the spring training. It all starts tomorrow, Sunday, 105, first pitch against the New York Yankees. Game one of the spring training is going to be happening, and it will be televised. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tomorrow afternoon. As for the Raptors, their next game is, oh, see, this is what happens. I always draw a blank here. I think it's tomorrow night. It's tomorrow night. I think they play tomorrow night. Yes, they do. Uh, I forget who it was against. You guys can let me know in the comments below. You guys can go crazy about who the Raptors play there tomorrow night. Looking for back-to-back -back Ws. Looking to get back to uh, Chicago Bulls. Ah, Chicago Bulls tomorrow. Uh, I think it's a 7.30 tip-off, 7 o'clock, something like that. All right, Raptors looking to go one game above 500, which would be nice to see for this team after that great win uh, uh, last night. And, uh, and as for the Leafs, as we mentioned, their next contest is on Monday night. 10 p.m. puck drop. Leafs. Oilers, game two of the two games set. All right, so guys, thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys then.